well, they're good enough to solve some equations, but not others. And uh, in order to try to figure out what it is that, um, uh, that characterizes the rationals, we'll have to talk about some, uh, some properties they satisfy. So last thing I want to talk about today is that Q uh, has an algebraic structure. It's called a field. Okay. So what does it mean for Q to be a field? Well, uh, you can check that the rationals satisfy a bunch of properties. And any time you have rationals that satisfy a bunch of properties, of these properties, it's called a field. Okay, these are all in your book, so I'm not going to write them all down. But the idea is a field is a set with two uh, operations. The operations are uh, traditionally denoted by plus and times. And you'll, you'll notice there are five properties for addition that mimic the five properties for multiplication. Okay? Closed, you'll see the, the actual definition in your book. Property of being closed means if you add two things, you're still in the set. Okay? Commutative means A plus B equals B plus A. Associative means you can group in any, in any collection you want. A if you do A plus B first and then add C, it's the same as if you add A to B plus C. The additive identity is what leaves uh, a particular element unchanged. A plus a zero element is A. And additive inverse means that there's something you can add to a particular element A to get the identity. Okay? Multiplication, exactly the same properties except possibly which one? Yeah, M5, that axiom is slightly different. You have to worry about the zero element. And finally, addition and multiplication should intermesh in some way. What way should they intermesh? Well, a, a multiplication should distribute over addition. So for the rationals, what is the, um, what are the, uh, what's the identity, what are the identity elements? Uh, additive and multiplicative. So the zero element is what? What behaves like zero? What ordered pair behaves like zero? Zero, zero one. Very good. The class of zero one. Actually, yeah, so it's not just this. It's the class zero one. Okay? Which consists of a bunch of representatives. The the multiplicative identity is what? Yeah, 1 over 1. OK? And uh, you can check all these properties. Check these axioms hold. OK, and you know enough to do that now. You'd have to go to, to basically to back to ordered pairs and check them. But you can check that they do. Now, uh, this is a, uh, a structure which occurs in many places, and particularly the later we'll see the real numbers also are a field. Okay? Are the integers a field? What properties do the integers not satisfy? Why are the integers not a field? Good. Z is not a field um, because it does not satisfy what? M5, in, uh, in particular. Jenny? Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank you. Um, this should say, uh, if you're watching at home, uh, on your slide, M5, uh, the last uh, line should say, every element except 0 has a multiplicative inverse. Thank you. That is a typo. OK, so Q is a field. Uh, and the other thing that's, that's very interesting about Q is that not only is it a field, it's, it's an ordered field. Q is an ordered field. And despite what the name implies, it, it, an ordered field is not just a set that is both a field and has an order. 
what else would you like to be true about an ordered field besides the fact that it's an ordered set that, that is a field? What else would you like to be true? Let me give you a hint. Um, let's see. We have this other structure that has two operations, and that's nice. That's fine, except the operations should somehow play with each other, right? Nicely. And they do with distribution. Okay, that's, that's what a, a, it, with a field, you have these set with these two operations that play together nicely. Okay, here is now a set that has these two structures. It's got an order, and it's, it's a field. What else would you hope to be true? That the order and the field properties do what? Play nicely. Okay, good. So it's an ordered field. Um, so what is that? It's a field with an order. So that, well, how would you like the order and the field properties to play nice with each other? What would you suggest? There are two operations to a field. Maybe I want to know how um, they relate to the ordering. For instance, so that two things are true. Well, here, the, the way to say it is the order is preserved, in some sense, by uh, the field operations. Okay, And I'm going to put this in quotes and then tell you what I really mean, which is uh, if y is less than z, this implies that what happens if I add x to both sides? How do you think x plus y and x plus z should relate? less than x plus z. That's the first property, comma. And the second property is, if y is less than z, and x is less than, and x is bigger than 0, second property should say how multiplication relates. This should imply that what? xy is less than xz. Notice that we are demanding that the, the thing you multiply be positive, OK? Uh, I'll, I'll mention that this is slightly different than what's written in your book. Your book has, I'll call this 2 prime, your book has a condition that is uh, slightly different but equivalent. And I encourage you to read what the book says and see why it's equivalent, OK? But this is the way I like to think about it, because it, it makes it very clear you're trying to have the order be preserved by the field operations. Okay? Just got to be careful about positive factors here. Okay? Hmm. Okay. So, um, what do we have now? We have uh, Q being an ordered field, uh, which is, is uh, basically says something about uh, its structure. Okay, so um, here's where we're heading now. Um, we're heading towards constructing the real numbers. And our, our hope is that maybe, so this will be next time. Our hope is that maybe the real numbers, whatever they are, uh, might be good enough to solve the algebraic equation, x squared equals 2 as well as other things. And, uh, and hopefully they will um, uh, also somehow contain the rationals. So in some sense, they extend the rationals. So they'll extend the rationals in some sense, so Q. And what else will they do? Well, they will also uh, have the, not only will they have the property that they'll solve equations like x squared equals 2, but they will in some sense fill in the holes in the, in, uh, in the line, uh, the number line that we uh, began to get a picture of. So it will be also an ordered field, but it will have a property that we'll call complete. So it'll be what's called a complete ordered field. OK, so it will live on a line, like a number line, but it won't have the holes that the rationals do. The rationals don't solve 
the, the equation x squared equals 2, even though we know that's the length. That's the length of a hypotenuse of a triangle with two sides that are 